This is a short demonstration on how you can perform revision control using Cadence Virtuoso. This capability is brought to you via a plugin directly integrated into Virtuoso called ClearSoft SOS. You do not need to learn a new tool for this capability. In this example, we are looking at the views from a cell called AFE underscore top from a library called AFE. By the side of the views, you can see a check mark. These check marks are derived from ClearSoft's SOS revision control, and the green marks indicate the views are checked into the DM repository. DM stands for data management. If you mouse over a view, a tooltip appears, giving the name, the DM state, the version, and the size. In this example, for this schematic, this is version six. For this layout, this is version four. The DM status shows that this is checked into the repository. Let's take a look for buff X1 cell. You'll see there's an inverted butterfly symbol. Mouse over the schematic. You can see the DM state says update needed. Now we're working in Sheldon's work area. He currently has version one, but since the DM state says update needed, there must be some other versions in the repository. We can take a look at that later. Let's take a look at another cell, the add four. For the add four cell, there's an icon associated with the schematic. Let's mouse over. This schematic is currently checked out by Sheldon. In this case, that's me. This version is number two. Now let's revert back to the schematic for cell AFE top. We know there's six versions of this file. Let's go ahead and make some changes to the schematic. I select it, double click. You'll see this window called auto checkout. Go ahead and check it out. And now you can see the schematic. The schematic is being checked out in the Virtuoso schematic editor. This is version six and you can see the words checked out. Let's go ahead and make some changes to this schematic. It says it needs a review. Let's assume I've reviewed it and everything looks okay. I'll go ahead and delete this and click save. Notice the icon next to the schematic in the view of the library manager window. It's of a quill and ink, implying that this schematic is being edited and is locked by Sheldon. No other engineer can make edits to this schematic during this time. Since we've saved this file, let's go ahead and check it back into the repository. From the Design Manager window, select Check In. You'll see this cell, the view, is being highlighted. We can add a description. Initial Check In. If the issue that I fixed was associated with a bug, I can associate the issue ID from the pulldown. I can also enter a progress. This is used for audits and spreadsheets. Click OK. And now if you look at the library manager view, you'll see a green check mark by the schematic. If I mouse over the schematic view, you can see now this is version seven and it's checked into the repository. Now let's say there was an issue with version seven and I need to revert back to an earlier version. Go ahead and right click on the schematic, select version info. You'll see the version info window appear and you can see the version number, the author, the date, a timestamp and a change log. Now let's say I need to revert back to version five of this schematic. I select version five Click revert, select yes, and you'll now notice a new version, version eight has been created. If the author is me, Sheldon, with today's date stamp and the change log, which says roll back to revision number five. ClearSoft SOS 
does not delete any revisions. It creates new ones, as we can see here. Now going back to the library manager view, if we again select the schematic, you can now see that the DM status is checked in and this is version eight. So this is a brief introduction into the capabilities of what ClearSoft SOS can offer as a data management solution. Feel free to reach out to us for a more comprehensive demonstration.